And it sounds like the key in China to all of this is that people are shopping on their smartphones. How does this translate into what's going on in Brazil? So here in Brazil, uh, let me tell you, we're watching, we're having the same exact behavior from shoppers. In fact, Latin America, for that reason, for that uh, fact, all Latin America is uh, connected to the internet through mobile phones. Uh, internet penetration uh, has grown due to the use of mobile phones here. So uh, it's a, next year we're expecting every Brazilian to have to be connected to the internet through mobile phones. In fact, so yeah, so the trend is the same over here, and 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 that has benefited uh, e-commerce growth in the country. And how is Brazil? Um emulating what China is doing on Singles Day. Yeah, great. So so we, we're here at eBanks in southern Brazil in Curitiba. We're a fintech. We provide local payment solutions for uh, global businesses, global online retail stores, for instance, like Alibaba, who want to expand across Latin America. And um, here, um, this year, we've joined with other online, large online Chinese merchants like AliExpress, your best wish, uh, light in the box. Not only, not only Alibaba, to make Singles Day a, a very relevant day here in Brazil as well. And in fact, uh, for what we're seeing now, Alibaba has revealed its numbers already: twenty-five billion dollars, twenty-five billion dollars surpassing their expectations. We're going to have the same thing in Brazil, of course, in a minor scale, but thinking that it's the first time it happens in the country to. On this magnitude, Chinese merchants here in Brazil are expecting to have to be uh, at least two times as profitable, two times more profitable than Black Friday sales. How do you get the word out? How do people know about this? So yeah, so you know, AliExpress is AliExpress ha, is is the main Chinese online retail store here in Brazil. Uh, but we also have other retail stores here that are selling big in Brazil. And here in Brazil, Chinese products, different from other countries, are not seen as lower quality products. They are, in fact, they are in fact like preferred by Brazilians. They're cheaper. They're they're, they're largely preferred by the middle class. So it's not it has not been difficult for the middle class to see uh, Chinese products as an alternative to branded products that are highly expensive here in Brazil. We know that the the business model for Singles Day is that many of the um, stores, they actually pay a fee to be a part of it. And that's how Alibaba is making money. What is the model there with your, uh, oh. go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, so it's, it's quite different because uh, uh, Alibaba offers that private, that service to, but on, on its side, we process their payments here in Brazil. We allow Brazilians to purchase from Alibaba from GearBest, from Wish, and other online retail stores. Uh, we offer those local payment methods so that Brazilians, Latin Americans, can reach the stores uh, in China. So uh, as a business model of expansion, uh, our part here is to provide the opportunity for Brazilians, for Latin Americans, to actually have the opportunity to take advantage of singles day offers in China. All righty. Well, Rafael Bertrand with eBanks, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate